To start designing our index page, we're going to copy and paste our main container. This duplicate will be stretched to match our page width as it will act as our call to action. When we open this group's property editor, we'll remove the style and change the background color to white. That way our call to action will blend in with our header. With another group selected, we'll draw this inside our call to action and we'll give it a width of 1060 pixels, just like our main container. We'll center this element, giving us the same margin that our container gives us, and then we'll draw a text box right into the group. This text is our call to action, so whatever we write here needs to get our user's attention. In our case, this is a one-off style, so we'll do it directly on the element and remove any style attached to it. This is an entirely optional thing you can do for your elements if you don't want to reuse it throughout your app. Once we're done styling, we'll have something like this. Let's extend the width of our text element to match the width of its inner container group that we made before. We'll add another text element underneath this that will act as our subheader to finish out our call to action. With an element selected, you're able to see where that element's borders are. But one of the things Bubble lets us do is always show those borders and customize the color of them. This will help you align things as you add more elements to the page. With the call to action done, we can preview the page to refresh and see what it looks like. Now our index page is coming together. We'll head back to the editor and we'll continue designing our page by adding another group into the other container. We'll make the width of this 20 pixels shorter than the container it's in, and we'll add a text element that says all recipes in preparation for the rest of our design. For more preparation, we'll drag the height of our container and page just to give us some more room, and we'll make our container fixed width so the container itself won't stretch or expand. Now when we preview, everything is set up and looks good. In the next lesson, we're going to add a repeating group to this page that will display the recipes our users submit.